Weddings should be memorable, but not for the groom's lack of style. That's why our friends at the Black Tux rents suits and tuxedos that you'll love wearing at your wedding. So if you wind up getting featured on a list of 23 epic wedding fails, or say your reception table catching fire, your DJ playing, let's get it on during the father-daughter dance, at least you know you'll look good for your close-up. Listen, guys stress about weddings too. Me, I've never been married, but I've had to rent quite a few bad tuxes in my day. Those rental stores, they're just renting you a penguin costume for the day. It's uncomfortable, it never looks right, and that giant bow tie, that's got to go. It's a big day, you got to have some style, so go to theblacktux.com. Check out their tuxes. Let me tell you, now you're dressing in style. They've even got a groom's guide with helpful tips for the groom who might be feeling a little overwhelmed by the whole getting married thing, if you know what I mean. But the best part about the Black Tux is that they have an easy online ordering process that brings your suit or tuxedo straight to you. Just pick a style at theblacktux.com and request a free home try-on so you can feel the fit and quality before you commit. And if online isn't your style, they have showrooms all over the country where you can find your fit and plan your look. From there, they'll ship your order two weeks before your wedding so you can check it out one last time. Talk about commitment. Over 5,000 five-star reviews across Wedding Wire, The Knot, and their own website. They all agree you won't find another rental experience or designs like the ones you'll find at The Black Tux. Grooms, if you want your wedding to be remembered for the right reasons, visit theblacktux.com slash listen. That's theblacktux.com slash listen for $20 off your purchase. Walk, don't run to theblacktux.com slash listen to find a look for you and your crew. Theblacktux.com, formal wear for the moment. It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's E-Commerce Minute, episode 285. Today's episode, WeWork gets into retail with WeMarket. Co-working giant WeWork is getting into retail with the launch of WeMarket, a modern retail space that will be piloted at WeWork 205 Hudson in New York City. The concept expands on WeWork's Honesty Market, which, as the name implies, was a market for members to purchase snacks and drinks using an honor payment system. WeMarket will initially sell products from 10 WeWork member companies. Those coveted spots were secured by a pitch competition this April. Winners were selected because they're innovative, have eye-catching packaging, and are backed by a solid business plan, among other criteria. Some of the products include juice from Misfit Juicery, phone chargers from Puku, and food from Splendid Spoon. Competitions for new products will be held quarterly, but the whole process is still being figured out, and if something becomes a standout hit, it may become part of the core collection. The Wii Market concept gives small startups a leg up in getting their products in front of customers in a bricks-and-mortar environment without the upfront costs. For some companies, this is their first foray into outside sales and presents an excellent opportunity for them to get feedback from fellow WeWork members, many of them entrepreneurs themselves. WeWork Chief Brand Officer Julie Rice says that WeMarket is, quote, by our members, for our members. WeMarket is a great example of WeWork's commitment to our member success. We are so excited to be launching it in New York City, end quote. In addition to member products, WeMarket will sell company-branded apparel, office supplies, and other snacks and drinks. WeWork will be expanding more Wee Markets across other locations in New York and nationally soon after, according to a press release. The winning companies will also have the chance to further sell their goods through WeWork's partnership with snack delivery service company Snack Nation. Um, John, please say all the WeWork things and all the all the names for everything really fast. Okay? WeWork. We leave WeWork, 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 WeWork Market. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> So what do you think of this? Because so, I've heard some people kind of poo-poo it. I, th- I, I mean, I don't know. I think from the from the the member side, it's a great opportunity. Well, let's look at this. I mean, we've been around. We've seen everything possible from these guys. So we've been in, inside of WeWork pretty much since they launched. So you know, uh, we've been around it, and they've grew a lot. So, but yes, people will poo-poo it because they poo-poo everything that WeWork does. It's kind of kind of funny. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I mean, literally, like everything they do, people yeah. just poo poo it. It's like, whatever. Um, this is kind of interesting to me because so the honest market has been there. It's great. It's actually really fun. Like, it has basic snacks, it has some drinks. If, if you, you know, you don't have snacks, you can just come up, pay for them, and be out of there. This is kind of like competing a little bit with, with um, a story that we did before uh, with Bolton, kind of Bolton esque, right? Yeah, it's uh, a curated, a curated retail experience, right? Um, just a bigger 
I, you know, bigger go just because they can go across the whole internal network, which is basically all the members all over the world. So you can kind of post that up there. So you get a pre-built customer base, I guess. Yeah. And I, one way to look at it is say, well, you've got like a cap, captive audience. And I think once people, a member, you know, if you're a WeWork every single day and you're going to walk by this every single day, you're just going to kind of start tuning it out. But on the other hand, it is, the products are targeted for that WeWork demographic, which is like a Gen Z, a younger millennium type customer. And, and I think some of the member companies that are doing this, they're really not doing it to make a lot of money. They're, wor- they're doing it to get their feet wet and to get feedback on their products. For example, uh, Mark Coughlin, the, the founder of Puku, who does the phone chargers, he says he doesn't even he, he doesn't even care about the sales. He just wants all the feedback. So it's like, all right? So they're they're you're getting an in, internal marketplace. You got test of ground that's that's just there, and like, why not? So we looked at WeWork. Um, I mean, you and I always say that WeWork is a real estate play. They've expanded. They have the We Live Apartments. Um, they have a gym called rise by we, I never heard that one mm-hmm. early education school. We grow. Um, and they've been doing some acquisitions. They bought marketing company conductor coding school, Flatiron. And they even bought meetup, which mm-hmm. at first didn't make sense to me, but then I thought, well, they have these built in meeting spaces. Duh. That's mm-hmm. what way you can kind of mm-hmm. solicit more customers. You know, you have your meetup at we work and then you turn around and say, Hmm, I could see myself working here. So it kind of makes sense. Yeah. So look at, I know it was just a little tangent on WeWork, but you know, people might make fun of them, but think about it this way. Think about it from like the Amazon playbook, right? So you have all these other things that are out there, right? So like Amazon has Kindles. They don't make money on them, but you're buying more Kindles, right? I mean, you're more books mm-hmm. or the lady in the tube. <laughs> yep um that's gonna that's you know that's another thing so if you look at this it's getting sort of these campuses basically with a marketplace a gym a early education right you pretty much are built you can build your whole company instead of building a whole big campus you're building inside of this yeah and that's why you'll see a microsoft their offices are in WeWork in Mm -hmm. in big cities that they're, they're doing it the smart way. And I think we work as smart offering these other types of services like the childcare, the gyms, the apartments. Um, and as you said, it's, it's an organic, you build your campus. A lot of the comments that I see, it's like, well, as, as companies mature, maybe they move out of we work. And I think they're doing what they can to kind of, you know, keep that carrot to keep them, keep them staying. Which is not really true because companies are going in. Like I think IBM took a whole building that's a WeWork building. And Which be, is crazy, WeWork, isn't it? Like, yeah, well, WeWork that? is running it. Can you imagine that 15 years ago? Yeah. IBM is renting a building from someone else. Well, they're not only renting it, but they're letting it, letting the company run it for them. So right. It's not, right, right. So the whole facilities management, everything is taken care of WeWork. Yep. And I guess when you look in the bottom line, it makes complete sense. It does indeed. All right, pretty cool. So WeWork Market, it's spelled, uh, it's actually we. And then all in capitals, M-R-K-T, because that's how people like to spell things now. Market. We market. <laughs> we market. So go check it out at your local WeWork coming soon. Got anything else, Bart? Oh, that's it. All right. That's your e-commerce minute for today. Full show notes are at ecommerceminute.co. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>